This is Pamir Cinema in the Afghan capital, Kabul, showing a Pakistani film in Pashto. The auditorium is filled with all male audience tucking into their bags of peanuts and smoking cigarettes. And once the Pakistani actress starts showing off her moves, the men join in. There are now only seven cinemas left in the capital, down from the 23 back in the early 1990s. The machines we currently use in this cinema are not standard machines and are very old. We have a big problem operating these machines because it's difficult to find their spare parts in the markets. The old machines are used to show foreign films. Some argue that the Afghan film industry was not only sidelined under the Taliban, but it has also been forgotten by current authorities who have struggled to establish security and the rule of law after years of war. And the situation has led to high unemployment figures and left men with nothing better to do than kill time at their local cinema. The movies we watch here and in the other cinemas are Pakistani and other foreign countries' movies. We would like to watch our own Afghan movies, but we don't produce Afghan movies anymore. Some officials believe that the situation calls for urgent attention. If the situation for Afghan cinema doesn't improve and the government doesn't pay attention, I want to stress that the Afghan cinema industry will soon be dead. Considering today's situation and the flow of movies from other countries to Afghanistan, the Afghan cinema industry is going to disappear. Action! The Afghan film industry flourished in the early 20th century and the country is now in possession of more than 7,000 film canisters containing decades of its recorded history. And unless this footage is properly maintained or digitalized, it will be lost forever. Karen Zarin, BBC News.